what is structure and this one which structure is to be used to collect the messages from call transaction so this is again one vvi important uh, vvi questions so bdc message call bdc msg and c o double l okay so this is the structure name which will be going to use to collect the messages so call transaction the transaction name using bdc data update the update mode okay and then mode synchronous or asynchronous and then into messages and the message into the messages when we tell that means uh, after the messages we are going to give the internal table name so that internal table should be of type table of bdc message call okay so bdc message collection actually their short form is bdc message co double l another question what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous update again vva question very very important question we should know this okay so here below is the differences one is the synchronous update another is the asynchronous update synchronous it is slower asynchronous it is faster right why it is faster because it does not wait for the previous update to be completed that's why asynchronous update is faster so asynchronous it's a another meaning means parallel also okay so parallel so if something is going to be parallel you can understand that right it's going to be faster so parallel and the synchronous update you can also tell the sequential update okay in sequence it's going to be one by one one by one like that it will be updated so it is slower the return code size of rc value of the synchronous update indicates the success or failure of the t code update in data in the review so just what you have to remember that you know uh, the important things if someone is talking about the synchronous and asynchronous simple just simple you remember synchronous is going to be slower and step by step update this much only just remember and it is going to be faster because multiple update can take place in parallel it does not have to wait you know uh, it does not have to uh, wait for the previous update to be completed so that's the main difference just remember here what i'm trying to tell if you see uh, carefully this is however optional if you remember that is also fine not remember that is also okay that the first two difference is the important one this is little more technical okay so see here the return code the size of rc value of the synchronous update indicates the success or failure of the t code plus update in data in db so when we whenever we tell that call transaction some transaction right and if the mode is synchronous and if we're going to uh, after a successful execution of that particular call transaction statement if we're going to receive the size of rc equal to zero that means everything in that transaction has been successfully completed and successfully updated why because that is a synchronous step by step step by step everything has been completed you know perfectly so if you're going to get the size of rc equal to zero that means perfect you don't have to bother anything here little difference what you will observe see here the return code size of rc of the asynchronous update indicates the success or failure of the t code only not the update of data in the db okay so what what it's telling just try to understand here it is telling that when you are going to receive the size of rc equal to zero or non zero that means it is not making sure that your data has been updated successfully into the db your transaction has been run that's perfect but it is not going to tell you whether your update has been successful or not that's the meaning of this second point okay so once again you can read the return code of the asynchronous update indicates the success or failure of the t code 
only means this much this much only whether your t code has been successfully executed or not that much only not the update of the data in the db but here it ensures everything it ensures everything in the synchronous update it ensures everything if it is zero if the size of rc is zero that means you're updating the database that means if some update function module is there that is going to be update the database perfectly you don't have to bother about that so that's the this, this is the second point so the first point for two point if you are able to remember that's also perfect okay 